Minecraft Fabric, and Sodium. Our two programs that let you install mods and increase the performance of the game. To download both of them, you can go to the description, hit download on the link, select the game version, select 1.21.4, and hit download. I have the link to both of these downloads in the description. And after download those two, you want to go to fabricmc.net, where you download the fabric loader itself. Again, link to this is in the description. The first thing you want to do is use the fabric installer, which is what you got from that fabricmc.net, and inside of there, select the game version you want. In this case, it'd be 1.21.4. Select the loader version, just use the most recent one. I don't know why you'd use any later one. And make sure it's going to your Minecraft folder. It should be the default folder there, but if you move Minecraft around, you'll need to adjust that, and then just hit install. Do note, make sure the Minecraft launcher is closed when installing that, and then in your installations, you should have the fabric loader for 1.21.4. With the fabric loader installed, you can go ahead and start playing Minecraft like you normally would. Now, what do you use the fabric loader for? Well, mainly to load in mods. I use it for my shaders. So to install mods, you want to go to the percent app data percent folder on your computer. Once you go to percent app data percent, go to dot Minecraft. Something I always recommend people do is go ahead, right click it, copy it, and then paste a shortcut for that onto your desktop. That way you can just click into it from your desktop. In your dot Minecraft folder, you should now have a dot fabric folder, which you can't ignore that. You don't really need to focus on it. Something you do need to do is go ahead and create a new folder and name that folder mods. If you ever installed Forge in the past, it's the same process. Inside that mods folder is where you can install any fabric compatible mods. Today, we're doing the two files that we downloaded from Modrinth, which are Sodium and the Fabric API. For the Fabric API, you need that to run some of the mods that you can get for Fabric. And the Sodium API is used to increase the game's performance similar to Optifine, but a little bit better. Sodium also changes the look of your video settings, so go ahead, get used to this, uh, but you have pretty much all of the same settings, nothing too different here. So that's how you install Fabric and Sodium. Fabric, again, is a loader you can use for mods similar to Forge, and Sodium is used to increase the game's performance. One of the mods I highly recommend, especially if you play with shaders, is Iris Shaders. You, this is necessary for you to be able to play with any shaders inside of fabric so yeah, go ahead download this as well also linked in the description also worth noting when you go into the download when you select the platform make sure you select fabric so that way you download the right version of the mod once you download iris you just drag that into the mods folder as well and once the iris is in there go back to your dot minecraft folder and make sure you have a shaders pack folder if you don't go ahead and create it the same way that you created the mod folder in that shader pack folder you'll install whatever shaders that you want to use in my case i use bsl and by adding an iris you now have a shader pack option inside your video settings which lets you select the shaders that you want to use when you hit apply it applies in the background you'll be able to see it and then you hit done and now you got your shaders installed if you want just the look of your shaders just go into your video settings go into the shader packs and click the shader pack settings option which then lets you customize the shaders to how you want do keep in mind each shader has its own customization options and then you can also import and export the settings that you have and what i'm going to go ahead and do is import my bsl settings that are already exported you can download these in the description hit apply hit done go back to full screen and now my shaders are back to what they need to be and there's a quick tutorial on how to install fabric sodium and iris so you can use shaders or mods inside of minecraft and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below i respond to every comment within a couple hours and if you did enjoy today's video make sure you leave a like go subscribe hit the bell notification button on that check out the video that's on the screen now and have a nice day